Hey Aaron, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Good. Who do you have to race first round? Uh, we got Don Bellis, first round. Oh, all right. Bellis, out of the park camp. He one guy. Out of the park so, Where'd you end up on the sheet? Number, number three, maybe. Right. To be honest with you, I just got up here and they said you have Don Bella, so oh, man. it's been a busy day. You're racing Pro Stock too, I assume? Yes. yes. Pro Stock How fast did you go effort? with the factory car? <laughs> we went, we qualified with a 768. Car, uh, probably not what kind of model for 179. So we're, uh, and we Tony a nice lap the second ball five run, and, uh, and we're ready to race. All right, how you doing in first stop? Good. Yeah, yeah, we uh, run it up in the all-star race by four thousandths. Uh, 2010 so Pontiac we're really close here, but we're ready to, we've got a good hot rod, so we're ready to get it, get it rolling. Tony's a Mount Vernon guy for many years. All right, buddy, good luck to you in factory stock, good luck to you in pro stock. Be safe and have fun out there. He's back here where his heart has always been, which is in Mount Vernon. Hey, there's Tim. What's up, buddy? Hey, Tim, what car are you crewing on here? Is this the Don Bell's car? Don Bell's. Frank Trailers runs R&B Auto Body, the sponsors for Tony Gilling. Don Bell's. Hey. We're going to say hi to you. Here's your microphone. Take that. All right, Don, I just spoke with your opponent, who is um, uh, Aaron Stanfield. And you guys have a nice first round matchup here. Don, what did you qualify at? What was your last time? Uh, 77. Okay, and what was your uh, mile per hour? 175. All right, so you're getting. Yeah, we finally got to stop spinning, so we'll see what happens this time. All right, we get it to hook up today. I guess, uh, I mean, the sun's been beating on the track, but it looks like, you know, it's a little bit of shade from the grandstands that might help out the track surface. It's been pretty good all day. All right, well, let's see how you do there. Weather's well, great now. <laughs> good luck to you. Yeah, Are you going to head to Maple Grove uh, this oh, yeah. upcoming weekend? Yeah, for sure, yeah. All right, well, we'll see you there, too. I'll see you there, too, all right? Yeah, right. Take care, buddy. Okay. Good luck. Mr. Welch. So I think that is in right there, the visual Let's see if we can get anybody to talk to Smith out of York. Certainly, Pugino is one of the guys that everybody needs to keep watching this weekend. He's got his quickest 626, which only has him seven. That is a disappointing number for that team, and certainly not what they're going to rest on. Looks a little focused. Pugino, the Ford Power Plant. Shameless Racing, Feather Like Batteries, John Cozzi Race Engine, Strutmasters.com, another Jerry Haas built car. Check out this beautiful muscle. The Placino family is multi generational. It was John Placino back in the 90s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s running this style of race car. Mr. Holbrook and Holbrook. Hi, Del. Here, take the microphone. The okay. Tell everybody uh, where you come from. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. All right, how old are you? I'm 20. 20, 20, 20 years old. To be 20 years old again, huh? <laughs> Here he is, one of the local right, Del, so is your dad teaching everything about engine Illinois. building? He is. All right, that's good. What's, uh, what are you doing? Are you doing like pruning, so boring, assembly? What, what do you got going on over there? I work like over there as much as I can on the side. Right now I work at Bore Racing make, Products. I run the CNCs at the shop. Oh, excellent. Now, did you go to a tech school or did you go to school? Right, so um, I went to like an early college program through my high school, so I got my associates in applied sciences for machining. Excellent. I wish I could say I knew how to machine anything, but I don't. That's a that's a you know what? We won't even let you know who that is. No, I know. It's just in the it's just in the other lane, all right? I've seen him many years. All right, now you guys are flying here. What did you qualify at? What was your last time in mile per hour? Seven sixty six at one hundred eight. Richard Freeman. Right, that's flying. Yes, it is. Hi, buddy. Good luck. Do you guys like flip a coin for lane choice? How does that work? Just follow the fastest person gets lane choice. Okay, so you which lane is that? So New far, York right State. lane as it looks. All right. Well, good luck a to you. Have fun out there. Thank you. Good luck, Dad. Here we go. 
Scott Scott Liebersher. How are you? Who do you have to race first round? I got Doug Hamp. Right next to me, an old teammate, good guy, and uh, we're going to get the business done in a couple minutes. All right, now, what did you, uh, position did you qualify? I qualified number 12. We started swinging for defenses after that, and uh, hopefully we got some good ideas here for the first round. All right, well, we look forward to it. All right, you know thanks, what lane brother. you're in yet? What's up? You know what lane you're going to be in yet? Um, left lane. Left lane. All right, be safe. Have fun. Good luck. Career at Mount Motor Pro Stock Racing. He was one of the racers that really beat the drum hard to get this category as part of the NHRA, as part of the show. Got another code. That is an every week exercise. Got two Cobra chests this weekend? All right, how are you doing, sir? How are you? Tell everybody your name. Jason Deach. All right, now where'd you qualify, Jason? Uh, we're set number nine. Set number nine, what uh, ET and mile per hour did you run? Uh, we ran a 775, 178. Okay, now you're racing the uh, gentleman next to you here? AJ Bird. All right, so you're number nine, I'm guessing he's number, he's eight. number eight. All right, it's going to be a nice, tight, neck-and-neck neck race. race. That's, That's right. the race to watch. Oh, yeah. It's going All to be right. the best one out here. So. Now, this Cobra Jet, what year? Uh, it's, uh, it's 18. Does this have that, that 327 well, motor eight, in it? it? Yeah, it's got that with the three-o whipper whip on it. Yep. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Now, did NHRA make a parity adjustment recently for the Fords? Yeah, they, uh, they dropped 50 pounds off the Fords. Right. That's the first time they did something for the Fords instead of against the Fords yeah, in a while, right? Like, yeah, it's always been against the class two here. That's a million dollar question there. They spent a lot of money chasing that. What is the minimum weight for these cars? Uh, 3725. Wow, okay. Alright, buddy. Well, thanks for joining us. Good luck out there. Be safe. But the speed, 226.35, man, that is wild. The old, uh, there is no replacement for displacement, of course, people with blowers and AJ, how you doing, sir? Doing Same well, how about yourself? I'm all right. Uh, here's your microphone for a second. I just spoke with your opponent over there, right. so we're just going to speak with you. You qualified number eight. Yes. What uh, ET and mile per hour did you run? Uh, we ran 773 at 180. 180, all right. Yeah. Yes. Now, is this a Barton-powered uh, uh, power plant here? Yes. Yes, right. absolutely. Now, where do you come from? I'm from New York. All right, now you got the Ram Chargers on the side. The, yes. The nostalgic look here, so that's pretty cool. Who, who doctored up the car for you and painted it? Um, it's actually not paint. It's all vinyl. Uh, Redbeard Wraps did it in uh, Indianapolis, and uh, Mike Wagner and his wife uh, are kind enough to let me fly the flag this year, so... I've um, really, been really excited about it, and uh, we're hoping to, hoping to go some rounds today. All right. Well, good luck to you. Looks like Thank you're you. in the right lane, and uh, eight, eight, eight versus nine. I mean, that's the matchup to, uh, that to watch is, here. That that's is the magic here. matchup for sure. All right. Well, we're going to try and get a good video of it on the starting line. Good luck to you. Thank Have you. Fun and be safe out there. Thank you. I don't think he wants to be staring down.